Joy Reid's in a little bit of trouble. Well, shall we say a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble, probably with her network, probably with the Biden administration. It all has a little something to do with this little F-bomb that came out of her mouth the other day on the air. Shall we play that one, Drew? Over the weekend, President Biden said he's ready to take action if Congress is serious about solving the border issue. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. And Congress needs to get it done. Starting another f***ing war. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh, so at the end of the show, she went on and apologized and then did the rounds of The View. But let's go sequentially here. Let's see the first apology on MSNBC. Before we go, I just want to apologize very quickly. Uh, I was chatting during a clip that was playing. Um, and, you know, we try to keep this show very PG-13. So I just want to apologize to anyone who was listening to my behind the scenes chatter. Uh, deeply, deeply apologize for that because, you know, it's PG-13. But of course, you notice she didn't actually apologize for her sentiments. So she apologized for the bad language. But it wasn't like I was misquoted, I said something wrong. Well, so today she went on to The View, that lovely little show. You want to talk state TV? We were just talking about Sputnik. You want to talk state TV? I mean, MSNBC and The View, wow. It's like state TV on steroids. So she goes on state TV, ABC's The View, to explain herself and that little indiscretion. She said, oh, no, I couldn't possibly have said, I'm a Christian. You know, that doesn't come out of my mouth. Hmm, watch. Now, Joy, I want to ask you, because we, as, as people that wear microphones every day, we can relate to this. But last week, you had a hot mic moment that got some attention. <laughs> Let's just say you used some colorful language. Who doesn't? Not me. Um, I'm a Christian. But, yeah, <laughs> but it, it seems like you were criticizing President Biden for starting another war. I don't think you're alone in concerns of that, but is that true? Like, what was behind this? <laughs> well, I'm going to hit that with a cute no comment. No, but I, what, what I'm going to say is I am a person that... I, I'm a study war no more kind of Christian. I'm a red letter Christian. I don't believe in war, whether it is the governor of Texas literally trying to start another civil war over an issue that his party could solve tomorrow. There's literally a bill that they just yeah. could pass, right, and, and do the border security issue. Or whether it's in the Middle East, I was deeply against the Iraq war. I was again, I'm, a, I'm an anti-war person. And so, no, you know, no. I don't wanna say that there's any side that is specifically to blame here, but I think the idea, I think for most Americans, we're war weary. I think we're all weary of conflict, yeah. and we would like to see us progress economically, socially, try to bring this country back from the brink of racial hatred. Let's not do war at all. Yeah. Okay. Let's not. Okay. So that's her little pivot. She's against all war. I mean, she doesn't really talk out against what's going on in Russia and Ukraine and the, the additional money that they want for it here in the U.S. But, you know, she's against most foreign, so she's going she's gonna to go with that. And then she's going to make sure you know that... Oh, Biden has just done a great job, a great job, a great job. Let's do a big, big hooray, hurrah. Cheerleader. Here we go. Cheerleader extraordinaire, Joy Reid, for the Biden administration's lousy economy. Watch. One can win if people vote for them. So, yes, he has an absolutely a chance to win. And as you said, every candidate starts out with a good 45 percent, and then it's a matter of the rest. The challenge for President Biden is that on the facts, the economy is far better now than it was under Donald Trump, who failed in his one job, react to a crisis. As president, you're a crisis manager. He was hit with one big crisis, the pandemic, and flubbed it so thoroughly, we were at 14% unemployment. Yeah. Yet people, I and hear people, people died. Because and a million people died, not even yes. some people, a million people died yeah. because of him. Mm -hmm. And yet you have people saying, I had more money, I was rich under Trump. Not true, not possible. And the fact that he overcame his own objection to the STEMI, <laughs> signed a bill Democrats passed to give you a STEMI, mm -hmm. then took credit for the STEMI by putting a letter in the thing when you got the STEMI that said, you're welcome, Donald Trump, yeah. even though he was against the STEMI. Yeah. And now you got people in the street saying, well, Trump gave me a STEMI. No, he didn't. Nancy Pelosi gave you a STEMI. Yeah. Okay, as for that STEMI, that was all Donald Trump. He desperately wanted to get those checks in the mail initially. I mean, the second one he might have fought in terms of making sure the spending wasn't getting too out of control. But no, no, no. He was all for that first one. It was part of my point. Like everybody was kind of overreacting way back in March 2020 because, you know what, you knew the federal government was going to be there. Donald Trump, I mean, why wouldn't he jump at the chance, right, <laughs> to give everybody a stimmy, as she says. 
So the other thing is she's just plain old wrong when she says you were not better under Trump than you are under Biden. This is actually flat out wrong. Wrong. Like, first of all, the stock market did do better under Donald Trump, and that includes the giant plummet during the dark days of March 2020. It, 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 if you look at all the data, it, it really sums up to this. This one chart, this one, one single chart, because in this chart, it shows you income under Biden versus income under Trump. And guess what? This is adjusted for inflation. So we're taking into account Biden's massive inflation. Look at that. I mean, it's like that NBC News poll. Look at the spread. Look at the difference between Trump and Biden. It's massive. I get really excited with charts. Sorry, guys. It's my business background. Okay, this one, this says it all. So income under Donald Trump versus income under Joe Biden adjusted for inflation. Guess what, Joy? You are wrong, lady. You are so flat out wrong. This is why people say they felt better because they had more money. Their dollars went further. Not that hard.